This is News Trail, your daily dose. It's Thursday, 30th June 2022. Welcome to News Trail. I am Maditola Kayode. The Senate has confirmed seven persons nominated as ministers by President Muhammadu Buhari after a screening at the upper chamber of the National Assembly. The exercise was presided over by Senate President Hamid Lawan. Four of the newly confirmed ministers are from four southeast states, with one appointee each from the northwest, southwest, and south south regions. Meanwhile, Senate President Hamid Lawan says the Nigerian High Commission has engaged the services of lawyers in the UK to defend former Deputy Senate President E.K. Equirimado when he appears in court next month. He assured colleagues and family of the Equirimado that the Senate will continue to engage the Ministry of Foreign Affairs as the Nigerian High Commissioner to UK, Senator Sharafa Ishola, and the Commission are already on the matter. A fully smart digitized school, first in Africa modular block of classroom with interactive touch screen, composite conveniences, portable water and sports facilities has been commissioned in Lagos, Nigeria by Governor Babajide Songwulu. Mr. Governor says the innovation situated at Vetland Junior Grammar School is a testament of his administration's goal to build schools for the future and ensure no child is left behind, having provided the modern facilities for their learning. The governor charged the pupils to take full advantage of the opportunity to excel in their studies to justify the intervention, which will also enable them study online. Governor Sonwulu also presented brand new SUV cars to 12 outstanding teachers drawn from primary, junior, senior secondary schools and technical colleges at the 2021 Annual Teachers Merit Award. Over 3,000 applicants were screened, out of which 22 made the semi-finalists. 30 years in prison. That's what famous U.S. singer R. Kelly got for using his celebrity status to sexually abuse children and women. The 55-year-old R&B artist was convicted of racketeering and sex trafficking crimes last September in New York. He had faced years of allegations and the judge said he had an indifference to human suffering. Lawyers for the singer, whose real name is Robert Sylvester Kelly, say he will appeal ahead of his sentencing. A handful of women took the stand to confront Kelly. Dressed in prison khakis and dark glasses, Kelly declined to make a statement of his own and did not react as the verdict was handed down. And that's it on News Trail for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel, News Trail. And always remember, when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. Be a tough cookie. Have a fantastic day.